Hello guys, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough video. Uh, I just watered a little bit, so we'll see if they're up and out. And yes they are. And look at that. I like this light, I don't know if, you can, if it's coming across on the camera, I can't really tell right now. But you can see the blue sheen of the blues in there. And... I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But hopefully you can, because it's kind of cool. It's a little iridescent looking. But yeah, we're just going to walk through them. Just check them out. They're so happy. I hope they're happy. They are. go through a lot of food. Wow. And look, I mean, they're just babies everywhere. So I love it. I mean, these things, I keep the temperature in here at 74 to 76 degrees is what the... Oh, wow, look at the size of that worm. Oh, that is huge. I don't know if you can see the height of that. But, well, and look at all those babies. There's some adults there too, but that is just wild looking. They move down so fast. Anyway, not gonna disturb them much. Or, yeah, let's keep disturbing them. That's cool, they're bald up there too. Alright. Alright, I just wanted to do a quick walk through these bins here. So I just watered them. I just wanted to peek at them. Everybody's doing great, but, ooh. but yeah, that's the worm farm. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Again, I love doing the walkthroughs. I do it all the time because it just, I just love to walk through them and just open it up the deals and check on them. I probably shouldn't do it the way I do it because I do it several times a day. But it doesn't seem to bother them. So, well, hope you guys enjoyed the look at the worms. And this worm bin right here is kind of like, I'm, I'm naming it my show bin. Because <laughs> it has the, the prettiest surface. I mean, these worms just keep this one absolutely just flat and nice. And you can totally see everything that's going on in there. So it's really cool. And plus it's easy to put the light over here. And you don't have to deal with the big one ton bag in here. This is like a 400 gallon plastic bag. I, I chopped the top half of it off. And made it fit in this watermelon bin. And yes, these are watermelon bins. And I put them here to put these one ton bags in there for insulation. In case it got too cold, I had heaters break down or whatever. I could shove hay or whatever I had to in between there. Even heaters can go in between there. You know, heat mats and then whatever I have to do for the top. Plus, these things also have lids that go on top of them, so I could do that too. But yeah, that's that's the idea behind the bag, the bins, the big one-ton bins or watermelon bins, is just was for that purpose only but it's actually worked out to just hold the one ton bags too plus they were free you know i got them from a grocery store this last summer and actually the one i work at and or did work at i'm not still employed there i just can't work there right now but yeah i mean the owner he just he said get them if they let me have them and I took them so the people we get the produce from they didn't want them back so it was free for me and it worked out really great and they're really useful I mean they work out for me labeling the sides of them and everything so that they're really easy to keep track of what I've done with the bin and all that stuff and like some of these labels are new when I redo bins. This one's new. I haven't done anything special to this, so there's nothing written on there. It's just when it got started. 
this one i wrote the restart date on it i didn't on this one number four i don't know why or did i oh no i just okay that's because this one i put a new tag and it got started months ago it got started in july and i just added more babies to it okay that's what happened that's why there's no information on here because i haven't done anything really to that bin besides add those babies to it then i just feed it and everything like normal so but anytime i do anything different i usually will add it on there like that and like this one is just a bin for cardboard and compost mixture there's nothing else in there well, there is a little bit of cocoa core, but that just, I couldn't separate it all out from the worms. I got tired of doing it. So, but that's the experiment on this one. And that's been, you know, over a month now going and, and they're loving it. But you know, and this one was like, I got on here. This was going to be a nursery, but everything has been just breeding out so much. I don't even bother with it not even sure what the ratio is in here anymore and so i just need to remove some of these tags and start that the information all over on this bin again and just see how it's going but that's the idea behind the bat the bins and the tags and everything and trying to keep track of everything but thank you guys for sticking around Please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because there are a lot of videos coming up. And I got a lot of older videos coming up too that I did shoot when I was getting this place organized and everything. And you'll see how it changed over time because it did change a lot. And it's about to change again because this back area back here is big enough. I kind of want to move most of my worm stuff back here this is just storage for now but that's almost 20 well it's about 20 feet deep and it is 25 feet across so i think i could get my bins in here in like three rows four rows yeah four rows of bins in here and i can use all the shelving or the wall space for shelving for small bins and stuff and whatever else i need to do because i want to open up the shop for a big Bin. I want to have a, a really big bin in here I'm talking about 20 feet long 16 to 20 feet long four feet wide and I want to have one or two of them in here and that'll leave me a lot of open space for you know castings barrels for worm tea and stuff like that because that big green thing back there it's a hundred gallon uh, water barrel it's a rain catch barrel actually, but I use it to water this whole place in here because I do not have running water in this shop. But anyway, that turned out as a walkthrough to an old overall walkthrough, kind of. But that's it for now, guys. Like I said, thank you for sticking around to the end.